Welcome one and all to the Cloud Boat Armada Show episode one. This is a spiritual successor slash reboot slash sequel slash renumbering of the old Cloud Boat Armada podcast, this time with video. Yeah, everybody. Glorious 2D. Yeah. <laughs> color. Prisma color. Prisma color. Um, so uh, I'm your host, Matt. With me today. Oh, Justine. Zach. And Shamile. All righty. So, uh, so, I mean, basically the same format, except with a little more video. Uh, so let's just get into it. What have you guys been playing? Zach, let's start with you. Ah, for sure. me first. Because, because. Okay, fine. Because reasons. Uh, so I have been playing games with numbers at the end of them. You don't say. I do. I've been playing Borderlands 2. Uh, although, I mean, I've been playing with some of you guys too, so I guess this really counts. I, have, I haven't been playing with Really? You. Yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah, none of you, yeah. you guys. Yeah, but some other, other cloud voters. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and Tristan and Red and all other people. Um, but it's been an interesting experience playing. Like, I love the original Borderlands, and I, I got Borderlands 2, like, pretty well after it came out. Like, when did it come out? It came out like last, last year, September like, yeah, or last October. Fall or okay, so not that long ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I got it around Christmas time, December, January, um, and so I beat it, and I, I beat it actually on Xbox, and then I came to PC, and I had already played it through. You know where you're supposed to play it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Right. So, but but I played it through, and I don't know. There's something about it. Like sometimes I'm just in the mood to play Borderlands, sure. and sometimes I'm just not. Like, I try to play, and something's just, like, not engaging. I mean, it's it's that Diablo feel. Sometimes you want to, to do the I guess the I never played ladder. Diablo. Like, yeah. I don't, is that a the, thing? Yeah, that, I mean, it's some, sometimes yeah, you're in the mood for, yeah. for just clicking on getting stuff until loot. it explodes. Yeah, and... clicking on yeah, heads. Yeah, because that's kind of what it is, yeah, right? Yeah, like, it's clicking really on heads. That, at a certain point, there's not that much of a challenge. And the problem is that, like, because I have these characters that are... Um, you know, they're kind of linked with other players. Like, I have one character when I'm playing just with Tristan, and one character mm-hmm. when I'm playing with, like, a bunch of people. Sure. So I have, like, probably four characters at this point on my uh, PC account, and they're all, like, less than level 18. They're all between levels, like, I don't know, 8 and 15 or something like sure. that. And so I end up doing the same content continuously four times over. Mm-hmm. As, yeah, right? I hate that. Like, and it gets it gets boring eventually. Yeah. I remember liking the end of the game, and it gets way cooler, and there's all sorts of cool stuff to do when you go to new places. But I've done the like the same quests so many times at this sure. point. It's, you know, yeah, it's the like the same problem you run into and, with MMOs. Exactly. Just, yeah, trying yeah. to level other characters. Alts. Yeah, and it's just it's cool to like do it them with different skill sets and things like that. But ultimately, it's like you shoot the thing and it dies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so. The one problem I had with this game over the original Borderlands, I'm not sure if this is actually any different, but it feels different. It feels like the leveling up is slower because you get to level like 35-ish at the end of both games. Right. But I'm pretty sure Borderlands 2 is longer. And so the levels happen slower and it feels less rewarding. So it's hmm. like I'm stuck with the same skill set for five levels, but those five levels take longer. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. Like I still will play it, but I only play it if like four people just happen to be on. Yeah, what uh, what is your favorite class so far? What have you been rocking? You know, I thought it would be the Siren. I mm. loved the Siren I, last night. It's a very different Siren this time. Yeah, siren. for sure. Yeah. Um, I actually really like the, uh, not the soldier, what's he called? The commando, right? Oh, yeah, Axton. sure. He's cool. Like, just... The 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 up the upgrade tree that you can get for your turret is kick ass. Yeah, no, right? they, like, it, totally awesome. Way more satisfying than in Borderlands One. In yeah, a, with for sure. Soldier. Yeah, you get like a turret, turret, and then like rockets. It's like Engineer and Team Fortress. Like, yeah, rockets and like you can like throw the turret really far, yeah. and you get like nukes and stuff. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So that's definitely my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think they're all pretty played cool. Borderlands. Like I have it, but we we should we should yeah. Play like some for Borderlands. me, it's the kind of thing where if someone comes up and says, "Hey, you want to play Borderlands?" I'll probably hop on and do it. But hey, Shamal. like I never even have hey, the urge hey, to hey, get Shemile. on and just start playing. You want to play Borderlands? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. So if you guys wouldn't mind waiting, <laughs> we're gonna go play some. Yeah, Borderlands <laughs> we'll, we'll be right back. And just we'll leave right the camera running. Yeah. The magic of can't. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I would. No, no I'm, 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 I'm way too lazy. I'm not editing that out. It's just going to be dead screen while we go play Borderlands. <laughs> okay, good. Anyway. The okay. like five and a half hour of podcast. Yes. Show. Okay, Shamal, hit me. What have um, you been playing? Lately, I've been playing quite a bit of the uh, Walking Dead, uh, the the Telltale game. Mm-hmm. On what platform? PC. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, I've made it through four of the five episodes so far, and like, are they all God, ah, uh, yeah, all five are out. I'm a changed man now. Like at the beginning, so so the story, you know, it changes as you play. The characters react to you differently. Like they think differently of you. And at the beginning, I was trying really hard to be a good person and like try to be friends with everyone. And oh. now it's just like, yeah, that that's not going to work for us. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to leave you behind. <laughs> So is that what the game forces you to do, just constantly? Essentially, yeah. Like, the game is honestly like a string of uh, really difficult decisions kind of punctuated by quick time events. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I remember Tim was playing on the Xbox, and the interface was a little weird. Like, it feels like a point-and-click game, and so on the Xbox is a little clunky. But, like, the very like even in the demo, he was playing the demo, and even the demo you meet, what's her name? Clementine. Clementine. Mm-hmm. Clementine. And, like, the very first thing, she's like, who are you? And then... You, like, pick some innocuous answer, like, oh, your parents sent me, or, like, oh, I'm just a friend. And then it says in the corner, like, Clementines thinks that you're a friend now. And you're just like, yeah. oh, no. Everything This is how it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. It, it, it's like Mass Effect, but things actually affect yeah. other things. Well, but it also lets you know that, it, yeah. like, now it tells you yeah. explicitly. It's, it, it's so-and-so thinks that, yeah. thinks that he can trust you. Yeah. And He's that's, wrong. like, the worst when He's you know so that your decision just had some impact that you can't take out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, the thing is, I've driven away characters because, like, there are some characters that I really like, you know, I want to be friends with them mm-hmm. and, you know, help them survive. And siding with them, like, I'm driving off other people. And it's just really hard to juggle, like, everything all at once. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Yeah. I'm assuming there's no, like, objectively good ending. Like, is there a series of decisions that you can make to, like, everyone survives? I'm not sure, because I haven't finished the last episode yet. Huh, okay. Um, Maybe but I don't think so. The, the answer is no. Yeah. Probably. The, 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 the answer death. is no. People die. It's zombies. Yeah, it's, they it's, wouldn't be doing their job if they didn't kill off people. People die when they are killed. Yeah. yeah it's, people it's fall and die. though, because, like, each and of the episodes undie. is pretty much exactly Actually, two know. hours long, like, mm-hmm. give or take, so... If, you know, when I'm sitting down and I'm like, what game do I want to play? I kind of approach it as, do I feel like watching a movie right now? Yeah. Because it's, it's very cinematic. Like, mm-hmm. you don't really do too much. Most of it is just picking your, you know, your conversations and making your decisions. So it's, it's good. Like, I wasn't really into the TV show. I was only mildly into the comics. But, like, actually having me be in the driver's seat is really cool. Yeah. I think, honestly, um, like, I was a huge fan of the comics when they first started coming out. Mm -hmm. The TV show, I trailed off after the first season. And this, like, what I've played of this, I think is the most solid, consistent uh, uh, thing in the entire fiction. You know what just occurred to me? And Mm -hmm. we'll definitely talk about this later in the show. What's that? Um, This might be a good candidate for the shuffle. No. (laughs) No. Oh, come on. You, your expression, I thought you would agree with me. You'd finally yeah, realize no. that I'm right. You're, no, that's you're not interesting. Right. No, it totally is. Okay, sure. Later on, yeah, I, will, we'll, I, will, we'll talk. I will turn you, this podcast, into a supporter. <laughs> so help me God. Okay, sure. I, I'll, I'll, see, I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. Justina, what have you been playing? Uh, so just recently, I, uh, I played Journey for the first time. I had it, I had it laying around. And I just never had a chance until now to play it. And mm-hmm. it was just, it, it was amazing. I cried. <laughs> Did you really cry? I really cried. That's some emotional stuff right there. It's I'm, good a, shit. I'm an emotional yeah. person. Like, like the, the normal rate of people's emotions are here, and then I'm like up here. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, I cry at the drop of the hat. But it was, it, was, it was really artistic, and everything was just gorgeous. I was lucky enough to run through it with somebody for the first the first time, so we just ran the whole way through. So I had somebody with me, and so that that whole part where I think it's like the end of the second to the last area, and you have that vision, and just the the whole room kind of scrolls over with your journey so yeah. far. Oh, yeah. And I just saw like me, and then it was me and another person for mm-hmm. the rest of the time. It just kind of like, it was it was really amazing impact. Yeah. And it, it was amazing. How far did we get in the show? Dude, we played that entire game. Did we get all the way yeah. through? We, we played to the last level. We did not beat the last level, but oh, okay. it was yeah, yeah. it was the final scale, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like, I remember uh, the first time I played, I, you know, people kind of came and went th- 
throughout the whole thing, but I had a partner for the very last level. Mm -hmm. And like making that final climb with someone there struggling besides me, yeah. like I think made it even more powerful and like more punchy than if I had been yeah. climbing up alone. No, I, I feel like it, it just, having a person there just made the impact like 10 yeah. times better. It just felt like you want to make it through with this person. Yeah. You're trying so hard yeah. to make it to the top and like, so yeah, it was, it was very emotional and I'm glad nobody was home at that time. <laughs> <laughs> so. And then the doorway so of light and, and walking through that with somebody is, is yeah, really yeah. nice. But one, one place that I really liked, like artistically, was you fall into the, you fall into a cave mm -hmm. and there's just all these scarves everywhere, but it's like floaty scarves and then there's the jellyfish scarves and it, yeah. it felt like you were underwater even though you weren't. Mm -hmm. And it, it, the illusion, I, I really liked. It was, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We, I mean, we talked a lot about that game on, yeah. on Craft Games, Craft Beer, and and how I apparently like really, really missed out by having my first playthrough be single player. I I think that yeah, you missed out. Because there's we, just we like I feel like there's bit. no way to get that impact again. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely, it's powerful to be experiencing something for the first time with someone. Right. And the way that they use kind of very very limited interplayer communication yeah makes it just even more powerful which is really cool so like even even with that limited kind of speech you, you could still like communicate yeah. with them pretty effectively yeah um the the person i was with we were <laughs> we were trying to use each other to fly up higher mm -hmm. and he he or she <laughs> yeah count would count one two three so that we would both go up nice. at the same time. Nice. That's awesome. So, Excellent. Um, th little things like that. Or... Yeah. And, and yeah, that is that is a game that is a lot of fun to play, and then it's a lot of fun to replay. So I, I yeah. encourage you to, uh, to yeah, try no, it out I really again. Wanna, I, I really want to try it single player now and just mm -hmm. kind of look at everything. Yeah. It's definitely mind. very different single yeah. player. Mm. Taking your time and everything. Yeah. Have you I played actually, multiplayer? Uh, I have. I don't think I've played all the way through multiplayer, okay. no. Um, I, I actually really enjoy um, like taking my time but not being offline so if somebody comes into my world they can see that I'm taking my time and if they want to they can go off but it's actually really an interesting experience to be exploring the space thoroughly with somebody else hmm. like that that's a that's a that's something that like I have this OCD and and this this like oh god I don't want to annoy them by taking too long right. on this stuff but if I just commit to that it's really interesting because it's like if they buy into it as well, like they have the right to just go off and they see what I'm doing so they can just go off and finish the level and keep playing. But if, if like I was exploring the desert, uh, the, the wide open desert. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the big level. And like that, that's the easiest place to get lost. And it was very obvious that I wasn't lost, but I wasn't moving forward. I mean, I think I was white cloaked at the time. So it's like, oh. I know where I am. I know where I'm going. I still want to explore this desert and just find every nook and cranny. And so like the way that just my actions, I communicate through my actions and, and then somebody came and came with me and just explored the desert with me. And it's great to be able to, like as a white cloak, you can infinitely refresh your 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 scarf whenever you're on the ground so you you have infinite jumps and you can give them your jumps as well so you're just like flying and floating through this desert uh with somebody else and just enjoying the scenery as sparse as it is but it's it's it interspersed with really beautiful interesting little things and you found your soulmate Sure. You know, like, Cockmongler eighty five, <laughs> right? Isn't it? Like, yeah. At the end. At the it, end, they it, tell yeah. you, and they're the inevitably people, and I was terrible. like, oh, it's like XX. Yeah. <laughs> XX headshot, no scope, four twenty XX. <laughs> yeah. Just the the most stereotypical, horrible modern warfare based name. Yes. Yeah. So Matthew. Yeah. Eve. What games? Eve. Yeah, okay, so you got your okay. Family okay, so so Justina turned me on to this game and we actually played it uh, uh I streamed it with her and Jenna uh from the chat, Jenna Sue. Uh -huh. The pony. The, 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 po our, our, the our ponies drawer <laughs> right, 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 if you will. Yeah, yeah. Um and so we we did a hangout and I they had both 
played it, so they they were knowingly giggling in their corner. Oh, we were we were we were a terrible peanut oh. gallery. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. <laughs> Uh, but it's a it's a horror game, uh, Japanese horror game, uh, really atmospheric based on character interaction. Is it actually char- Japanese, or is it just in the it's, Japanese style? It, it's it, it was originally in Japanese. Oh. They have a translation, translation. Okay. Yeah. in a lot of different languages, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but it, it's got a, a really nice sprite style and everything, and uh, a great atmosphere. All built in RPG Maker, yes. which is great. Heck yes. Like, are there battles? I miss stuff? RPG. Like, no, battles it's stuff? it's just it's straight up. You have a hit point system. Yeah, it, it's it's overworld. Okay. Uh, Occasionally, things will come out and bite you. Huh. Um, Try to murder you. From the oh god, avoid the edges. <laughs> no, nope, no spoilers. See, like the look um, in your eyes. Yeah, like, um, you've got, you've been through some shit. Man. It was it was probably a two hour, three it's hour, three, three hours, hours if you, when if I played it. If you take your time and yeah. look at everything, it's about three hours. Yeah. Um, and there's, I mean, there's a lot of little things to look at, and mm. most of them don't really matter. Um, like, you don't have to read every single there, there placard. Are, there are five different endings, depending. There's obviously, like, the worstest ending ever. And Bad then, end. Yeah. Then, then there's the, the bittersweet, and then there's the really good one. Yeah. Okay. And then um, somewhere in between. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's a spectrum. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so I, I ended up... Um, it's one of those games where it's not really that hard. There's no super hard puzzles. Um, but it's horror? But it, it's horror, and it's it's really, really atmospheric. So it's, it's like not survival. So it's it's like no. more about yeah. just kind of yeah, no. wandering through and taking in the experience. Yeah, and then occasionally something will jump out at you, and you're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, running, running, running. It's also a lot about the, again, like... Uh, the character you are, the character that you end up traveling with. Yeah, you know. the characters you end up traveling with and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but like the gist of it is, you're you're a small child. You've come to an art museum with your parents to um, to see this tiny art exhibit of a, um, a kind of obscure artist, and all of a sudden spooky things start happening. And then <laughs> you're wandering no around in like a deserted museum. art museum. Yeah, it's it's art museum themed and yeah. so there's all okay. this like creepy art and That's really it's, cool. It's, it's Headless it's mannequins. Cool. <laughs> and dolls. Mannequins and dolls and you know, moving paintings and stuff like that. So and it's all it's all really neat and I really recommend it. It's it's really easy to download the English one. Yeah. So. Sorry. Um <laughs> okay it, it is it is definitely wor- it, it, it was trauma. I'm not I'm not a horror gamer. I don't play horror games. I don't usually have yeah. I mean like true. I am such a scaredy cat. But this one this is the one horror game I can say is my one of my favorites because it's yeah. just the everything, the way it's presented, the art style, um how like everything about it is really good. Mm-hmm. So, um, so yeah. CBA seal of approval. Two <laughs> thumbs up from Matt Four. and Justina. Four thumbs up. Four thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. So that that was Eb. It's spelled I B. Just Google I B game. Yeah. English download. English. Yeah. I, I think the first result is actually English these days, hmm. which is nice. The servers were actually overloaded uh, yesterday. Wow. I don't. Wow. I, I think it was There's probably. A- because uh, well, of increased the, interest. It is the first anniversary now, um, and uh, the the person who made the game, she just made a new uh, version, which adds in an extra optional dungeon and just added a couple little things here and there. I, okay. I was actually in the middle of playing that last night. I haven't gotten to the dungeon yet because you have to play through once and then mm. you have to play it again in order to get to the optional dungeon. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my pants scared off or something. I don't know, but I mean, they fun. they did switch up that one puzzle yeah, solution no. in the most oh terrifying room in the game. Where I was like, where is the key? No. What what happened? So, there's I, I can't spoil it because it's yeah, just one of the yeah, most okay. terrifying moments in the game. There, there's a but key. But you have to look she for a key it. within a time limit. And in the new version, she switched up where the key was. Just because, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's like, it's not Subversion here. Subversion of expectations. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was kind of terrifying again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it was good. That was but, That is easily the most terrifying room in the game. Yeah. So. So. Mm. Oh, gosh. So have fun. <laughs> Hooray. Okay, so Shamal. 
<laughs> what other games? Go. Ah, so there was that time you came up to visit me and we played a whole bunch of Persona 4 Arena. There was that Did time. Did you bring that, that awesome. up yeah. with you? Yeah. Persona. And, and, and an arcade stick. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so he got me, like, he, had, he and David, I think, got me an mm-hmm. arcade stick for last Christmas. Oh. And I hadn't had yeah. a chance to use it um, because, like... All the fighting games that I've really played, like, I've borrowed from him, and now yeah. I don't live down here anymore. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so when he came up, he brought up P4A and an arcade stick, and we played, like, all night long for a couple nights. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, well, gosh, that game. But, yeah, so how are you liking it? <laughs> like, we can't uh, just say, yeah, I played yeah, it. Yeah, no, I, I like it a lot. Um, I found myself really liking the characters more than I thought I would. Like, yeah. So you talk well, about I, Persona 4 so much that I've been just kind of avoiding it on principle. <laughs> ow. Sounds like a good idea. Oh, ow. Uh, Nick has been convincing Hurts. me to try one of the Persona games. And oh, you, 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 you won't enjoy these games. See, that's, that's the problem, is that like I've told him this, that I generally don't like JRPGs, and yeah. he finds that, he says that the combat system is varied and interesting enough to peak my interest. That is a lie. That is a okay, it is whoa, whoa, whoa. a I mean it's an interesting We're talking about Persona oh, 4 original. Oh, oh, P, okay, no, P4A is a completely different right, game. Right, no, yeah. I understand. Yeah. I'm just saying like I'm I'm really close to cracking and trying Persona 4 just Persona 4. Yeah. Uh, okay. From me, I feel like oh, yeah, the, there's don't a touch com- it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, there's a the combat system too. Like right. you might not be too into the JRPG, mm-hmm. but the character development and the characters more right. than make up for the yeah, experience like, because it's just it's such good writing and it's yeah. such good character pieces and everything. Yeah. Have yeah. you played Persona 4? I haven't. Okay, because um, like I was kind of avoiding it on principle right, too. Right, yeah. <laughs> so like I'm not a JRPG player either. I no don't respect. really like that sort of the, the combat style, but like yeah. the characters all look really cool and I've heard so much about how great the story is and just like the development of everything that mm-hmm. and, yeah. and now that I've you know actually seen the characters and like poked people with uh, the rapier girl who's like the best character who's not even in Persona 4 oh, so I'll play in, 3 too yeah, like, is 3 the one where you have to like commit suicide yeah it's the, the, the kind of okay right but you don't commit suicide you just point a gun shaped object at your head to and pull a trigger power. shaped yeah. thing yeah it, you commit suicide to as, not commit suicide as, as just as a recommendation it's always good to play P4 first because yeah. they they uh, made some. They made some better decisions with the uh, combat. Mm-hmm. But don't you and think it, that like it would be jarring to play a more polished game first and then go back? Well, you see, then you get used to their system oh, and how yeah. they okay. want uh, how you know how generally the system works, and then you can you can think of it as a slightly more, more of a challenge because one of the things was that you can um, control directly all of your characters in P four, but in P three, besides you, everybody else is. Um, uh, you can give them com- certain commands like, oh, uh, conserve your magic or kind of go, go all out. Yeah. But yeah. Y- you can't S- directly to the command system. them. Huh. So, that, so it's much more challenging. Yeah, imagine. it's more challenging. Yeah. So how like, how much translates, like for those of you guys who've played the Persona, actual Persona games, how much translates to P4A? Um, all a flavor. Lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. like, well, like, well, all the characters. But but... all of the flavor. Yeah, like so... I think that playing at P4A is kind of making me interested in Persona 4 mm-hmm. because the flavor is just really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, plus all, I mean, all of the their own character traits come out in their attacks and mm-hmm. what, yeah. what they were able to use in the games or what they were able to use as yeah. attacks in P4 Arena. And the storyline is very closely connected to apparently both games it's it's I, a sequel to both of them yeah hmm. so if you don't want to get spoiled you shouldn't play the storyline yeah yet. and That's i haven't finished to P- know. i yeah. haven't finished p4 i'm very close so i haven't touched the story um area yet but i'm i'm so getting there <laughs> so like yeah it's if you don't want to spoil yourself definitely you can play the arcade version because mm-hmm. that doesn't spoil anything. Okay. Yeah. So stop but. playing the game right now <laughs> yeah. oh, and come on it, it, it it's a fighting game yeah, like so. It, most in, of the in terms games of a versus... fighting game, um, I like it a lot because I like the uh, I don't know kind of what arc, is it? Arc the, systems works. Yeah, like yeah. the more anime style, cartoony types of fighting games. I never really got into like Street Fighter, right, or that kind of thing. Guilty Gear is one of my favorites and ever, and they're yeah. the same company who yeah. make Guilty yeah, Gear. Yeah. So it was really easy for me to get back in, like to understand how P4 Arena worked. 
Yeah, like I played a, a lot of Soul Calibur 2 back in the day, but like mm -hmm. Blaze Blue was like kind of my reintroduction into being into fighting games. Right. Is, is the same company, so Guilty Gear was, what were you saying? Our Arc Systems Works right. did Guilty Gear, then Blaze Blaz, Blue. Blaz Blue. Yeah. Blaz, Blaz Blue. Blue. Blaz Blue, <laughs> Continuum Shift, Blaz Blue, Hashtag. Electric Blue Balloon. Electric Continuum. What is it, CS2? Conti Continuum? No, it's. No, no, they, they it's, gave it a different. Yeah, they, ga they yeah. gave it a new CS. There was Calamity Trigger. Calamity and Trigger, and then Continuum Shift. Shift. And, then, and then I don't remember. I can't this Hashtag story. yeah. <laughs> Calamity <laughs> continuum Ubu shift Ubu. crime. Tokyo drift. Tokyo, Tokyo drift. drift. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So this time it's personal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that. So yeah. Arc Systems Works did all three of those series. Mm. Um. Mm -hmm. And they are kind of the. The anime fighter genre. Uh, is named after basically them mm. and you know a couple other games but th would, they're the biggest ones basically. i really hope they make another guilty gear game i've been waiting and waiting <laughs> yeah i mean they they got into i mean the reason they relaunched with blaze blue was they got into some uh yeah. legal Le was legal guilty stuff. gear a separate they got, uh, they got the license taken away yeah the the oh. the, the oh. license the ip was it like was an taken anime away. before or something no they just it, it was the cup the publisher and the studio that oh. developed two different things. So they took the license away, but recently they got it back. Yeah, under, my so. under, my understanding is they are now under control of the license, so another okay. one could be coming. Yeah, which Hopefully is weird a, because Blaze Blue was just with directly extra punctuation marks. Yeah, yeah, and their their names were getting pretty silly too. What was the latest? The latest one was like Guilty Gear Double X. A double X accent, hash hash reload. Accent Core. Plus yeah, accent, or something accent like that. Core Plus. So, yes. Yeah. Accent Core Plus. Yes. Yes, that is exactly the word accent, not like an accent. Oh, okay. I was just like, like involving just like yeah, the little what is like yeah, yeah, yeah the little and accent. Then the word core and then an actual plus. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I think it actually is a plus. I think I met that guy on Journey, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Accident Core Plus. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I think my one regret in P4A is that I can't be an adorable blob creature. Because I yeah. love being the bizarre... Like, in Skullgirls, we played that, too, when yes. you were over. And I forgot what her name was, but she was, like, the weird blob thing that uh, could transform. In, in, in Blaze Blue or Skullgirls? In Skullgirls. Oh. Um, not Mimic. Cop it's I, like yeah. copy or something like that. Like, it's something but weird. But like, so there was Arakune in Blaze Blue, mm -hmm. and there was her in Skullgirls, and just you do enjoy I, I love, really creepy, so adorable. weird slime monster <laughs> characters. I guess the closest to weird tiny monster is Kuma, but like yeah, Betty, K but Kuma's yeah. Kuma's different. What about Kuma's uh, Guilty Gear? Do she, they have she doesn't she doesn't, she doesn't find Gear. adorable What's stuffed mean? teddy bears yes. adorable. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I know exactly where you're coming from. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because I have a friend who's like that too. <laughs> oh, you people are weird. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're cute in a, in a strange way. Like, yeah. I can totally understand. Oh, like, yeah. You transform into a shark. It's adorable. <laughs> oh, Arakune. Yeah. Bees. bees. All the bees. Bees? <laughs> bees? <laughs> question mark? Okay. Other games. Uh, metagame. Metagame we played at a party. Yeah, our barbecue. Few yeah, barbecue a couple of days ago. Weekend. Um, metagame is a card game, uh, for people who know way too much about video games. I just got lucky that one round. Oh, you got so lucky. Um, but yeah, so what it is, uh, quick description is it's like apples to apples in that it's two decks where every, you get a hand of cards from a games deck, which is all sorts of games from Pac-Man to Galaga to metagame is that kind of like the card, red cards and but, apples to apples yeah, or the white cards yeah and cards kind of noun noun cards where they're right. games but i mean it's also very modern games super meat boys mm -hmm. in there uh I vvv, uh, VVV. Any VVV. Yeah, once you start really diving into any the connect game, game scene yeah. then it becomes really obscure yeah um but doom it whole whole kind of broad the array of games. of games and then the other deck uh instead of adjectives are their comparisons so which game is more competitive which game is more artistic which i got game which game is more sexist is more sexist really? yeah, I, yeah. I, haven't seen I had to argue awesome. it was i had civilization three. Oh yes and he had i think it was bejeweled yeah <laughs> um, <laughs> no it's like um i got uh which game is more sexual and oh. i had the sims and david had farmville 
Oh, uh. so, so, so like Daniel so, and I were talking about how it was like a story of fertility and <laughs> point of clarification you're supposed to have a, a, hand. a hand of four or five cards and then you select whichever one you think you're going to be able to win with we play it hard mode and slash party mode slash party mode yeah. slash hilarious mode where where everybody like it, it's one-on-one -on -one with the judge you flip over a comparison card, and then every, you just get one card each, and you just have to defend you better, whatever yeah, you the get. Best you got. I was a huge fan of my argument against Colin had The Sims. I had, um, oh my gosh, what, what? was the comparison? It, it was it was uh, uh, which game has a, a more satisfying core mechanic? Colin oh. had The Sims. I had the original Donkey Kong. <laughs> And what's I, the, I is, what's the core mechanic in your game? The, the core mechanic in Donkey Kong is you jump in barrels, son. That's exactly <laughs> how I put it, and that won me the round. Who was the judge? I I want to say Tristan. Colin did a not great job. I was gonna say yeah, he, define, he had some he, pretty good. He, okay, so he went first, and he didn't really define what the core mechanic of Sim or it was Sim, Sim City. Oh, so it was, I'm sorry, it was Sim different. City. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sim City. And he didn't define what the core mechanic of SimCity was. And Build he's just like, your eh, you're, so you can you're, on you're, you're God and yada, yada, yada. And then I went in and I'm like, sure, being God's cool and all, but it's all this long term, takes forever to get a payoff, all that bullshit. Donkey Kong, you jump in barrel, son. <laughs> and and that was like, that was basically the mic drop moment. Drop and I was, I was pretty proud of that argument. It's such bullshit. <laughs> Like SimCity has a way more re rewarding mechanic at at the core level, but it it's all about argument. And I did enough MUN and just yeah. all all that stuff to I I can rock an argument. So I was definitely so surprised. Fun. Like I figured when I heard about this game, I guess when I heard about meta game, mm -hmm. um, I thought it would be worse than it turned out to be. Like I figured that the knowledge of games would have to be so unfathomably deep that only the most pretentious game nerds like you or Colin would be really right. good at it. Right. But, like, you can think about games that you've played. Like, there are enough popular games out there that yeah. you can, like, think about it. Like, I never played Civ 3, but I played Civ 4, and so, like, mm -hmm. I know enough about what Civ 3 is about yeah. to make an argument about it at a general level. So that's why I felt... Like, I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't expect to like it or to be good at it, but I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah. Also, yeah, it's, it it when you when you're dealt one card and you know that the, like it's almost more luck than anything. Yeah, making a good argument is just fun, and you don't really take it terribly if sure. you if you have no chance. Yeah, <laughs> attacking my blinds, Zach. Yeah. yeah, so uh, it is. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and I actually I got it because I'm doing this game jams quarter, this quarter of game jams, and mm. I'm going to suggest it as a uh, as an idea for one of the game jams where uh each person gets two car or three cards pick two you have to take a core mechanic or core ideal from each of those and integrate it into a game together that so it, it's startlingly like, pretentious it's it's <laughs> like you get you you get to pick two of the cards that you're that you draw and you say it's got it's like this meet it's it's the x meets y mentality of game design except it's like it's the movement style of frogger combined with the scoring system of missile command you know what that kind of strangely reminds what? me of have you guys been watching any of the episodes of strip search yeah i was just yes. thinking about that. yeah the waste basket of yeah. broken dreams the waste basket of like, broken dreams it's their like it's their like hot seat where two people are about to like get one's get, eliminated. one's getting and eliminated. One person, they go into this arena or whatever and they there's this trash can full of crumpled up pieces of paper and they all have these like concepts on them so like one of them was the future one of them was getting lost yeah. that was one battle and there was no it was, it was no, yeah that it was, was the it was, first one the other one was uh space and uh, ping pong space right? and ping pong space and ping pong which yeah. which really that was already yeah, done at was, the end that exactly was the climax paint the of paint the line yeah okay, so that was pretty good yeah Anyways. Oh, it was. I, you know me. Yeah. Paint the line is my favorite penny arcade thing. So yeah, but like I thought that was pretty cool. Where you just like pull two ideas, yeah. and they both have to do both the idea that they pulled yeah. and the idea that their opponent pulled. Yeah. 
I thought that was kind of cool. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of that. It, it, it's a it's a solid idea. I like the combinatorial aspect yeah, of it. Not easy though. No, definitely not easy. But that's what a game jam's supposed to be. You're supposed to put limitations on yourself to see what happens. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of uh, that was that was my idea. And I hope that the people are willing to take a chance at that as a theme, because I think that could be freaking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, and if Zach says it's pretentious, like. He's the leading expert for, on pretension, yeah, so you for, better for a game jam, that's careful. perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, I have a show. Let's see. <laughs> the, we we are actually uh, just blasting through our our planned time. So uh, I really wanted to talk about Super Ninja Super Ninja Slash really quickly. Sure. This is Kyle Pulver's latest release. He's the guy behind Offspring Fling, and he was part of Snapshot, the team that made Snapshot. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and God. he is prolific as all hell. Um, and I, I love his games and, uh, what, what, uh, super ninja slash is, is it's just a flash game. Um, please tell me it's a cheap, nine uh, levels, fruit ninja knockoff. Say. No, no. Oh, oh, dang. It's a cheap, no, it's not a cheap anything knockoff. Uh, but it is a, it's a, a game similar to, uh, uh, what was the ninja game that came out? Mark of the Ninja. Mark, Mark of the Ninja. It's a cheap Mark of the Ninja knockoff. Yeah, it, it's a simple. It, it, it it's uh, it's Mark of the Ninja style gameplay, except uh, everything's one hit kill. Uh, the guards are all really really good shots, so if you get seen by them, you're probably dead. Um, and there's an air dash mechanic. Do you feel like in terms of setting up and telegraphing the stealth mechanics, it gets similarly gets it right as mark of the ninja did uh like as far as visualization of sound um kind of yeah but also like making explicit where how and when guards can see you and yes. what your attacks it, are. i i mean they're all it's all based on a flashlight kind of cast okay. so you know when you're gonna get seen because i know that tim's he, tim yeah. loved mark of the ninja yeah. and he's notoriously difficult to please so i might turn him onto this yeah it, it i mean it's game. short it, you you beat it in half an hour. It's meant to be replayed and perfected, and there's a way you can get through the entire game without um, without killing anyone. That sounds like a challenge. It is for a show. No, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, okay. actually, I could eventually do that, but it'd take me a long time. Um, but yeah, it is a it's a really cool game. Um, and I mean, it's free, flash, quick game. I highly recommend everybody play it. I think it's superninjaslash.com um that's the word slash don't try to put the slash in the domain name that's a bad idea you're gonna have a bad time um but yeah i I just wanted to get that in um shamal were you uh did you want to talk about lol real quick or hey it's Um, it's lol yeah i mean hey it's lol i've been playing lol actually lately i've been enabling like other people and getting them to play a little like they're like man i don't know i've heard things i don't want to play this game and i'm like oh but really it's this way and and then they get tempted (laughs) i i I started and then stopped playing yeah that's cool yeah at least you gave it a shot and then never started playing (laughs) i i i don't know that you can stop and then stop again oh okay thanks (laughs) what uh yeah so lol you're a bad I, person. Yeah, it's true. I am. Yeah, I think we all agree. Like, so just, what, what know, happens, like, with... Well, I've watched my brother play <laughs> Just nod your head. With, with LOL and WoW 2, what happens <laughs> is David gets me into it, and then I just try to get everyone else into it. So really, it's all David's fault. cover up your own shame. Yeah. It is yeah. David's fault. It really is David's fault, isn't it? Once again, David does something horrible. Um, okay. So, and then... But wait, I didn't tell anyone yeah. about Far Cry 3, GTA 4, Resident Evil 5. You, you, What's a 6? You did there not a six? list... Gran Turismo uh, 6. RE6 is out. You should have done GT5 and then RE6. But I've been playing <laughs> Resident Evil 5 and Gran Turismo 6. Have Mario you Party haven't. 7. That's lies. That's all lies. <laughs> eight. What's an 8? You, you wasted eight? Mario Party on 7. Yeah. You could have gone back to Final Fantasy VII. Final oh. Fantasy VIII. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Who would want to play that game? <laughs> now you wasted Final Fantasy on eight instead of nine, <laughs> which is an actual game. Oh, God. Is there, are there any games like... I Dragon mean, Quest? Nine. Yeah. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Wasn't that on the DS, Dragon Quest Nine? I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. What and then... Uh, this is actually... You're this not allowed to cool use ten, like Final Fantasy ten. Yeah. No, but you can't go backwards. That's no, like... 
That's cheating. That's what I'm saying. Like, you wasted really Ten. valuable stuff by using the, the lower numbers of Ten. these games. I give up. All right, I'll think about it. It's hooking me anyway, I have actually been playing Far Cry 3 and GTA 4, though. <laughs> Not the other ones. Yeah, okay, pick one. Uh, I, I don't know. They're both pretty good. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been playing them on and off. Like, I haven't yeah, played sure. them recently uh, just because I've been playing a lot of other stuff. But, yeah, I mean... I, you know, I'm I'm actually le- liking GTA 4 less than I thought I would. Hmm. I don't know why. But, yeah. It's an old game. It is. You playing it with all the nice mods? No, because my computer can't handle that. It's an old game. I'm playing in a small way. Wi- it's also absolutely atrociously optimized. I know, there's PC. mods for that. Uh Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I'm playing with, like, the Performance optimization mod. mod. Okay. Anyway, I mean, like... It's fun, but it's still really a GTA game. Yeah. And at a certain point, it's like, dude, how much do I really want to continue the story? How much sure. do I not? Um, but I like, I, I like picking it up sometimes, just driving around and doing stuff. Sure. It's fun. Okay. Plus, I have, like, now that I've opened up that one island, I can, like, look really sharp. <laughs> so I'm walking around in, like, the, like, $2,000 suit or whatever that they let you have, and then just, like, sneakers. Yeah, that makes sense. But the thing is that, like, you look at home in the... Because on the box art and all of the other stuff, you have that, like, terrible turtleneck with the coat. And you look good in... Like, you don't look good, but, like, it fits you. But you just look like this unshaven hobo if you're wearing this really sharp suit. Because it's, like, super nice and tailored, you know, with the tie and, like, the, the, the slacks. And if you wear the shoes with it, the shoes. And here you are, this, like ugly unshaven russian dude in this suit and you just totally look out of place yeah that's about right yeah yeah it's funny i like the characters though i think yeah. the, their work on characterization is really good yeah they, they did some solid work there nico nico cousin we should go see strippers <laughs> let's go bowling <laughs> It's like what? It also, <laughs> like i love their choice of activities yeah. in the world yeah. it's like bowling darts a cabaret show? Yeah. Strippers. Yeah. Uh, what else can you do? Like, KFC, basically. Yeah. Fried chicken, a fancy restaurant. There's, like, one more, and I feel like I'm forgetting something. I can't remember something. it. It's like, can we make a mini Was game Was there a karaoke thing? No. No. Because it's only, like, thinking, it's all mini game. Yeah. So, like, bowling What's and the fried darts. fried chicken mini game? It's not, that's not a mini game. Okay. Like, food it's doesn't count. But, like, they have these little, like, cabaret show vignettes yeah. that you can mm-hmm. see and it just sort of like randomly chooses from the cabaret and like it's the weirdest it is stuff. pretty strange really really yeah. weird okay give me one interesting story from your far cry 3 experience quick go i don't know i murdered a bunch of people <laughs> i said interesting story uh that one time where you murdered a bunch of people and then a tiger mauled you that okay, would be on. an interesting no, that, story. the interesting story that i have is that's never actually happened to me everyone's like oh my god, like, a tiger just came and mauled everyone at the base and I didn't have to do anything. Or, like, I was about to murder someone and the tiger mauled me. Like, the tigers, they maul people. Are there tigers? It's usually bears. I, just, I said tigers because it sounded You bad. know what's actually, like, way more hardcore than the tigers? The Komodo dragons. Oh, yeah. Those things will mess you up. Yeah, I've heard and that. And the, um, the ostrich ones, what are they? the cassowaries. Mm. Those things will also mess you up. Yeah. Um, the interesting story that I have is... I have hurt myself far more with the flamethrower than anyone else. Yes. <laughs> because if you, like, flamethrow in front of you, you, there's no indication of where the, like, the wind is blowing. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you, like, flamethrow in front of you and discover the hard way that, like, the wind is blowing at you. And, and it so will you just have to, like, keep burning as things. fast as yeah. you can in the other direction. It's just a That's line of excellent. fire. But, but the, uh, the mission where you get the flamethrower. I had to restart that a million times because yeah. I kept dying. <laughs> Wow, you suck at this game. Yeah, I'm pretty terrible. Uh, the one really interesting thing, it's not a story, but it's really cool, is like halfway through the game, you get like a wingsuit. Mm-hmm. And so suddenly you don't need a glider to yeah. fly everywhere. Yeah. It's amazing. You just fly, like you hold out your arms. Yeah, yeah like you... the, the camera, like um, what happens, like, you, you know, you're sprinting. And if you're sprinting, the game detects like what's in front of you. I'm guessing this is how it works. And if there's like a sufficient drop off such that you, if you jump, you'll have enough time to like get your, you know, pull the wingsuit out your gun goes away and that's how you know it's right and you could just jump and then you're jumping and like then you push 
push the wingsuit button and then you're gliding and like the angle of glide is pretty shallow mm -hmm. so even if you are only like 10 feet above the next ledge you can glide like 100 feet before yeah, you hit the like... ground it's really cool yeah it's pretty cool um so again it, we were talking about getting around in open world games yeah both in saints row and in just, just cause. cause and they get it right halfway through the game. I only yeah. wish I had had the glider suit earlier. earlier yeah, because that's. A lot I think I think there's something to be said for making you work for it. Deal with not having something. Yeah, you you can sprint around the island without too much. That travel. that that kind of that kind of limiting the player's abilities does not come into a game like say like Saints Row the Fourth, or Saints Row <laughs> Third. There's the a Saints Row Four coming. Uh, yeah, out. Yeah, I'm I'm think I've been thinking about Four for a while now. It's on your brain. Yeah. But yeah, Saints Row the Third. Far Cry Three, more good stories than GTA. Yeah. Okay. Cool stories, bro. That's how it goes down. Okay. So speaking of Saints Row Three and Far Cry, or and uh, uh, Just Cause Two, and all of those games and other good games, Craft Games Craft Beer. How's the show been going, Zach? That was probably like a two out of ten. Segment. Thank you. I appreciate I'd, the effort. I'd, yeah, you, I'd you've say come up with three, some pretty five. good ones, like in the podcast, but this was not one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the show. The, uh, the whole. It's, it's good. Yeah, I'm really me. enjoying it. I think that aside from a couple of mistakes that we've made, uh, just like in terms of production, just because yeah. it's like you know we inevitably make mistakes. We're pretty. Um, we're pretty bad. At I this. liked the weeks where like you would start every time and not have sound for five minutes. Yeah, I think we fixed that, though, so far. Yeah. We I haven't know. had that it issue, seems like it. which is good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we finally got the, the most important part of the show is the opening of the beer at the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We finally got that down. That crap. Everything else is just gravy. Yeah. Um, no, it, it's actually been really good. I was worried for a little while that we would run out of games faster, um, but we keep getting... And that reminds me, actually, oh, it was in my head, and it just left it. I thought of a really good one just like a couple of minutes ago to yeah. add on to the show. But we just keep thinking of good games to add on to the end of our it list. It turns out there are a lot of good games out there. Yeah, it, I didn't expect that to be the case. <laughs> so you made the no, show. Okay. So, no, I didn't expect that to be the case that there would be enough Continuously. different games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, like, arguably, if, if I were to, like, do Just Cause 2, I could, like, go back to Just Cause 1 and they would be, like, very similar to talk I've about. I've heard Just Cause 1 is terrible. Right, exactly. Just Cause 1 is not great. Um, so there aren't, like, it, it, not only good, Mercs, but also though. different. Mercs, Mercenaries was a great game. Anyway. Cool. So, we're not playing Mercs um, on the stream. But, yeah, since this is going to air after Wednesday's show. With Bastion. Obviously, Bastion was awesome, and I, w I know that I was really witty. You guys were okay, too. And Wait, then, I'm not and then be on Zach the show. wasn't on the episode. No, 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 no. He forgot See, that now, he's not scheduled to be on, on the, the episode. Show, otherwise, I would create a time paradox. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be on the show. I was really witty in chat, is what I mean. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. All right, okay. chill out. Yeah. Good, good save. Chill out. I was witty in chat. Um, I have. To, I actually might be here. Um, Just off screen. Because Tim has a date, and so I'm not supposed to be at home. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but I was definitely really witty, at least in chat. Uh, and I'm sure Bastion was pretty cool too. Uh, I would. And that know beer because... was delicious. And I hate you for that. That <laughs> insert beer here. No, it's uh, it was uh, what what was it? It's, it was the, the speakeasy. speakeasy. Yeah, double, the double daddy. daddy. Double IPA. Yeah. yeah. How can you yeah. not remember? How that? did we miss out Jeez. on the Bioshock? Just double, just di what are you do? big daddy, yeah. double daddy, um, double school. Yeah. But it's really cool. I'm really stoked about it. Um, and it's definitely, like, looking far out into the future, we have plenty of games to talk about. Yeah. Speaking of games to talk about, you guys ready for Bioshock 3 Skyoshock? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't that, actually want that, to talk the, about Skyoshock. The podcast yeah. didn't get any better since the last time you used it. Skyoshock. I don't really care about it. It's a it, thing. Honestly. I could care less. I couldn't really care less. Me. Basically. Anyway. I, I, it all happens in the air. Also, in the past. No was maybe the Probably let's not. shuffle it, that's not that that's was not also similarly that's in the future. awesome <laughs> or was going go to be it. that's not that's future. not going to be out this is this video is going to be out we're recording oh, on thursday time traveling is really hard <laughs> also in the past oh future gosh. This, this framing is past horrible, by the way. Future, future, past. Okay, by the time this comes out, uh, we will the, the the first episode of Let's Play has will not have come out, but um, it will be amazing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, Shamal, you're gonna be on it. Yes. I'm probably gonna be on it because Tristan hasn't played the game either. Uh, Tristan Man, awesome and Amy are both gonna be on it, so it'll be the four of us, and we're gonna be playing. Um, 
Uncharted 2. Yeah, right. It should be fun. Yeah. It should be fun. A lot of fun and ridiculous. It, and I have no idea when that's coming out. So sometime soon. Yeah. Sometime. sometime. Watch, soon. watch for that, cloudbetteramada.com. Yeah, all uh, of our stuff, cloudbetteramada.com. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, Plug. I forgot to uh, plug out our show. Warcraft Games Craft Beer. All of our stuff is on YouTube. So we actually talked, like I said, a lot about Journey. That was our very first episode, mm-hmm. Matt and I. Uh, and so if you're interested in more pretentious thoughts, more thoughts on um, what the experience was for me single player, that's also on YouTube too. So if you guys right. are interested. Yeah. Cool. Most excellent. Most okay. excellent. Um, I think that's about everything we had to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah the, the Let's Play Shuffle will be ridiculous and interesting. And I have no idea. When are you planning on... When were you planning on getting that out, do you think? Uh, sometime next week. Okay. I, I, we haven't figured out what exactly the like day of release will be. Right. But probably not Wednesday. Right. Probably not Wednesday. <laughs> Maybe, though. There's Th- always this, a this should be releasing on Thursdays, I think. Okay. Every uh, other Thursday or so. Or, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. When, when, I... when they get... The, this uh yeah so the, the i guess i'll call tuesdays then dibs dibs on tuesdays dibs on tuesdays you guys are really like taking all the days out of the week like when we finally start putting out shows up there like we're yeah have a very well i mean live 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 and from. live and yeah, pre-recorded true. stuff yeah but i got dibs so you can't yeah. oh, have it what if i just put out something on tuesday before you do i'll delete it <laughs> I have delete powers. So do I. <laughs> and then we just had no content. <laughs> yeah. Next week, like, Cloud all of our content, all of our blog posts, everything will be gone. The forums will be empty. Everything will just be totally, like, deleted. Escalation is a cruel thing. That's, escalation is a something. So anyway. <laughs> Is that all the time we have? I, I think that's all the time we have. We got to get going. So uh, this has been the uh, the first, the inaugural episode of the Club Boat Armada show. We've got a couple podcasts in the can that never got released. Those will probably just wither out and die. I'll put them out and just like not post about it. No, I'll, I'll, I'll put them out on the old feed. Um, and then this is probably also the audio version of this should be on the old feed as well. Um, oh, yeah, because we are on iTunes. We're not on iTunes. We're on we should iTunes. be on iTunes. We should be on, iTunes. Be on iTunes. I don't think we ever set up iTunes. <laughs> okay. Well, we're on a thing. Yeah. We, so, so uh, thanks everybody for listening and watching. If you watched, yeah, I don't. I'm not good at outros. This was. We 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 can't cut anymore because I'm lazy. <laughs> but we used to cut when I really botched think something. Of a witty cat- or something else. Uh, well, that was the good gaming, everyone, which wasn't so much witty as me being desperate. But <laughs> I guess uh, for all of us uh, here at Club Boat Armada, um, good gaming, everyone. <laughs> Stay on your cloud boats. Stay. Uh, yes, don't go into the water. It's bad. There's sharks There's no about. Water. We're in the cloud, sky. Cloud water, Shamile. It's called sky. <laughs> cloud water. <laughs> cloud sharks, and... Shamile. Good gaming, everyone. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>